Still a 3.9 second lead on Dale Earnhardt Jr. for Jimmy Johnson. Now just two laps to go. Yeah, another great run by Jr. in his race team. Uh, very impressive here today. Got to be a somewhat distant second if things hold up. But still, solid. Yeah, solid, and it's good to, for Jimmy Johnson to have a teammate capable of running that well, too. That is separating Matt Kenseth from him by another spot, which is a point which could be huge as we approach Homestead. Kenseth does not appear to be in a position to gain at eight spots without anybody having a failure in front of him, nor is he going to lose any unless he has a failure in uh, this last lap. Uh, White flag is up. Final lap for Jimmy Johnson in Texas. Looks like it is going to be about that easy for Chad Canals and Jimmy Johnson. Back. A very dominating performance so far today. Matt Kenseth is going to finish fourth. Jimmy Johnson is going to lead 255 of 334 laps. Outstanding indeed. The winner in Texas, Jimmy Johnson. Hey guys, it's Monday Sports Week in Review. I was going to do it Sunday, but I was busy playing this game right here. So I didn't have time to do it. I was enjoying that 3 years WrestleMania. There's one match I'm stuck on and I can't get it done. So I'm trying real hard on that. But anyway, just seen that happen to NASCAR yesterday. Well, Dominic David Jimmy Johnson is AK a boring race. But yeah, you know. What can you do? I mean, he's in the car and... Uh, but the points is still getting tight, though. Matt Kansas is behind about seven points. And uh, Dale Jr. had a very good, decent run today. But, yeah. But he moved up a spot in points. He's fifth now. But I think he's out of it. He, he's been out of it ever since it started. So, but, uh, yeah. It was just uh, another Jimmy Johnson race. That's all I can say about that. And also, in NHRA, the last race season is this week. The California Finals. I mean, the AAA Auto Club of California entry finals. So it's on ESPN3.com live if you have charter. And if not, well, ESPN2, it's on round seven or five. So you just got to tune in for that. Because John Forrest has got his hot clinched up in funny cards. So does Matt Smith and Pro Stock Bike. Just only two are left is Top Fuel and Pro Stock. So it's going to be tight. So we'll. We're going to see what happens there. So, I think it's 11 o'clock because for the West Coast for a live broadcast. If, if you have a charter on ESPN3.com. So, yeah, I think it's so. So, anywho, yeah. So, anyway, on WE, well, the big, the big show, I think, is an active guy on the roster after he what he did to Triple H and uh, uh, Randy Orton on, on Raw last week. But let's see what they got a big setup on for Raw this week. Take a look. They don't say anything. Oh, who will the wife family target next? Oh, that's a big deal on Raw this week, but yeah. This shows some Triple H's bitter history exposed. Oh, I know that. <laughs> We haven't watched around 2000 or 99, yeah. So. WCW's, WCW's 15 greatest losers. <laughs> That's great. There you go, yeah. So, yeah, I'm on Raw. In NFL, well, Seahawks came from behind. They actually made franchise history. Just, it was pathetic. They came back. And Tampa Bay, an 0 7 team, almost beat. Uh, team that has one loss. That's bad. Because if the playoffs are going to be that way, we're not going to survive in the playoffs. The Seahawks are not going to survive. 
because it, it was bad in the first half. Like, oh, man, 21 and nothing. It's like, oh, come on, Seattle. And they managed to gain back, and they won in overtime by field goals. So, Ooh, I don't know, just hope it doesn't happen again. <laughs> Anywho, uh, but uh, Miami won in overtime as well by a safety. It's been, been a long time since they heard that. And plus, I didn't watch the game because I was gone somewhere. I wasn't at work, I was just gone somewhere. And uh, well, I was just helping out, so to say. And uh, yeah, after I heard about that score, it's like, wow, I should have watched the game. <laughs> I was cutting to Bay and stayed home watching it or go do that, but I should have stayed. So, <laughs> anywho, uh, NBA, well, Blazers are now 2 and 1 in the season, and they got the uh, uh, Rockets on Tuesday, which is tomorrow, and they'll be on Comcast, which I got, so I'll be watching all Blazers games this season, so it'll be awesome. So, hopefully their season will be on a good note. Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping they make the playoffs have a fairly decent season. That's all I want the Blazers to do. If they go to the finals, that'd be incredible, but the way the teams are now today, eh, I'm sure, but we'll see. You never know. Surprises. In MLB, well, the Red Sox win their eighth World Series title, even though the Yankees have got a bunch more. But hey, it's which I kind of figured that would happen because uh, for way that Boston strong and Boston bought me having months ago. So yeah, I mean, I think that's what uh, they were basing on. This makes me wonder if uh, New England wins the Super Bowl and uh, and the Celtics win the NBA Finals. There's a plot. I don't know if they will happen, though, but you never know. But I can't see Boston making it. New England, maybe, but no, not about Boston. I can't see them making it. Um, what else? Oh, and so football. Well, there was not much of a uh, upset this week. Uh, Florida stay handled Miami, which is up, moving up number two, which is okay with me because their schedule will be a strong when Oregon comes Thursday. We got this. Oregon's got this. The uh, way we play against UCLA, we got it. Because Stanford, they are a good team. Don't get me wrong. Kevin Hogan's good, but he's not good enough. Because we learned from, from our mistake last year with him, because that was his first game. Surprisingly, he did well. But this is his first full season. There's a, diff there, there's, a, there, there's a little bit of a difference there. And plus, they lost to Utah. We got this. And plus... And the remaining sketch of Oregon got Utah, and then Arizona, then the Civil War. And speaking of the Civil War, the rivals, Oregon State, embarrassing loss to USC. Embarrassing. Well, they well they snapped that streak from 06, and, uh, yep, they got picked off three times in the red zone. That was terrible. And, and well, plus, I was watching that game, too, and it was just like, wow. <laughs> it's like, they're going to be, it's, I mean, it's going to be a, uh, Chuck and another one up for the Ducks in Civil War. That's all I can say about that one. So, yeah, but uh, yeah, Bama and LSU are this week. So are Baylor and Oklahoma. I think they're playing Thursday with Oregon. Here, let me check. Yeah, because Oregon and, and Stanford are the big game. This is the big game of the week. Guys should tune in. If you guys don't know who the Oregon Ducks are, watch them. See their speed. See how they do. ESPN, they're comparing, they're comparing Oregon and Oregon and Baylor, which is a good, yeah. But seriously, I, I can't see Baylor making the national championship, but I could probably see making the, the Fiesta Bowl. All righty, let's see here, week eleven. Yep, they start at 4.30, Oklahoma at Baylor on Fox Sports 1. Then it's Troy at Louisiana Lafayette. Then at 6 o'clock, it's Oregon and Stanford. Better watch it. See any good game from this week? Uh, not too much. There's no stadium. Utah would be pretty good. There it is, LSU 
at Bama, 13 and 1 on CBS at 5 o'clock. I'll be watching that game. Then I turn for LSU to beat Bama. And probably, and also UCLA, uh, I think uh, I think it'll be Arizona. That's it. There you have it. So, depends who will be the victor. Ducks got this second half team. We actually learned, we actually learned from our mistakes in the UCLA game. Don't, no worries. I'm not too worried. Ducks will pull it off. Pull it off. In other sports, well, high school, well, Pendleton won their first playoff game of the season. They won 50 to 6 over, uh, I think it was Jefferson. So now they got a, next week they're, they actually got another playoff game against, uh, I think it's Ashland. They're in number three in the state, so I don't know. I think, I think, I think they're going to flop in that one, so, but never know. So, anyway, guys, here's my muse, my video game music choice of the week. That one's Contra from NES, Waterfall theme. I played the game once, didn't do too well. <laughs> but yeah, just, that's the only theme I like from that game. So, so anyway, video's coming next. Last part of SmackDown vs. Raw is coming, of 2006 is coming. And then we'll move on to this game here real soon. Um, yeah, because I've been stuck on, like I said, I've been stuck on WWE 14 because I got on, on Halloween, so... Yeah, I've been doing it ever since. I've been, and plus my superstars already made on that game. So, and plus I can play as him in 30th WrestleMania in defend the streak mode. I'll do that with my character. So, yeah. Or de or defeat the streak, so to say. But I think defend the streak is the Undertaker. Defeat the streak is you use whoever you want to be the Undertaker. But I might storm on that. Just depends for me. So. I gotta play that again. I I haven't touched into your streak mode yet on that game, so yeah. So it's kind of a if if and and so type of deal. So anyway, guys, like I said, just take care. Don't drink and drive. Don't text and drive. Two hands on the wheel. And uh, Oregon will pull off against Stanford this week. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, guys, take care.